Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video by the man himself, me, Upsaya. This is going to be an introduction on how to do a fast town center opener as China with the Imperial official and a very early landmark compared to how most people have been doing it regularly with China. So without any hubbub, let's get straight into it. Here on the screen, I'm going to have the rundown of the build order. My camera is a little messed up, that's okay. Uh, I, this will give you time to pause the video and look at the build order for yourself. So if you want this, please go ahead and write it down in a notepad, write it down somewhere. This is what you're gonna do. I will run through the build order without this on the screen. Let's go. So right off the bat, we're gonna start the game and we're going to start our Imperial official. We're going to send all of our workers over to the mill. One of the workers is going to build the mill, and then the other five are going to go to the berry bushes. Our scout is going to go on whatever scouting path you might deem is best. So our Imperial official comes out. He's going to boost the mill. And something that I'm going to note that's a little bit important for this is that you need to spread your sheep out properly. See how I have a nice spread of my sheep? And you notice that I turned in the food preemptively before my workers were finished what this does is it generates tax significantly faster for you than it would otherwise so spread your sheep out if you don't know how to spread the sheep i will make a different video on how to spread sheep that will be very short so what's happening here is we're going to get to nine workers on food we're doing constant drop-offs every five seconds or so you're going to want to drop off food to generate extra tax for your Imperial official to pick up. See, I'm dropping off. We grab 10, uh, 20, wor uh, 20 gold. We're done rallying workers to the food. Now we rally to the wood. You would want to build a wood camp right away here. So we're going to bring our sheep, our first load of sheep back. And what we're going to do here is we're going to send one here one there and then one over here you see how i spread them just a little bit and we continue doing forced drop-offs if you find it difficult to get enough gold to start the feudal landmark on time you just need to do forced drop-offs more often see here i'm gonna do another forced drop-off when the workers have like three or four food i should be doing it already but I i'm slacking and you see how we have 19 gold here we're going to just grab one worker, and we're going to turn in one more time. And then what we should have done with that worker is send him over to the next resource that we're going to gather, which is the stone, where we're going to build our Barbican of the Sun. When we build the Barbican, we're going to grab four workers from our food, and we're going to send them to our goal, or our wood. So three of them are going to go to wood, and then one of them is going to go build the mining camp on the stone. So we'll have seven workers total on our wood, and we'll bring our Imperial official over to our wood camp, and we'll boost that. Don't worry too much about your scout. Shift Q him to walk all around the map so you can know all of the locations of the relics and such and such. We're going to rally to our stone until we have eight workers on our stone. And... There's a little thing that I'm going to do here with the Imperial Official that you don't need to take too big of a note of, but I'm going to go from boosting the lumber here to boosting the stone. And it's when I hit four or five workers on the stone that I switch the worker from the lumber camp to the mining camp so that we can increase our stone per minute income rather than our wood because you're going to notice that I'm going to have plenty of wood to start my town center but not enough stone. Uh, make sure not to get housed. I think everybody can make a good decision for themselves on when to make a house. So at 9 supply for your first house, at 18 or 19 supply for your second house, so on and so on. So we're gathering up our stone and our gold. We only have one worker on our Barbican of the Sun. And because we used the unique faction bonus of China, which is gathering the tax gold, we were able to start our Barbican of the Sun at the same time as everyone else starts their feudal landmark. And we have our worker building 100% faster. So our landmark finishes around the same time as everyone else's will. 
and we also built our Imperial Official and got all of our value that we need out of our Imperial Official. You can do stuff with your scout if you have the APM to do it. Don't bother with this. I'm just playing versus the AI right now, so I thought I would be silly. You'll notice here I have a little bit too much stone because I was paying attention to my scout, but you can get the town center started very early. You'll also notice my town center is going on my gold. A lot of... I'm going to pause here, actually. A lot of people will build their town center on a deer hunt, and I don't like that so much because... If you're playing for a greedy town center, what happens is you eventually have problems getting gold if you're playing against a civilization that can harass you. So I put this here. And we have eight workers that have come from the stone that have gone to build the town center. And when this town center finishes, four of these workers are going to go from the town center to food, and four of them are going to go from the town center to gold. And then... When this finishes, it's going to become important for you to make a couple of decisions about what you're going to do. Uh, the majority of the time, I will make my second Imperial official as soon as I have food for it. So we put all these workers back on the food and we're going to get a, a food surplus. And that's when I would make my second Imperial official is like now. But it's important now that your scout is active on your opponent's side of the map. I'm playing versus the AI, so he doesn't have anything going on right now. But if you're versus the English, you're going to see if they're making longbows. You're going to make a stable. You're going to make horsemen. If you're versus the French, you're going to make a barracks. You're going to make spearmen. You're going to need to defend against knights in multiple locations. And that's why I like to build the town center on the gold. Because a lot of the times what happens versus those more aggressive civilizations is they can deny your gold, which makes it very difficult for you to get to castle age after having this town center opener so you'll have an economic advantage but it'll be in food and in wood only and you won't be able to get the gold you need to get to castle age to start building the high quality units that you need to compete with the hyper aggressive civilizations because china does not have units in feudal age that are competitive with the Royal Knight, and the Longbow. So it's very important. You get that second town center finished, and you're going to need to figure out what your opponent is doing and make a good decision for yourself on what it is that you want to do from this point in the game. That's the build order. I hope that this helped you out. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Let me know. Uh, I'm going to flash the build one more time on the screen here just for anyone who wants it or needs it. Uh, go ahead and pause it here. Write this down. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. More content coming to you soon. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening or day.